you know, religion's going through a, a as everything does, ebb and flow. Yeah. Right now, some people might say the world is becoming less religious and more secular in many ways. In many ways. Right? But I think if you come to Mass, especially yeah. in the summer, uh, the church is packed. But isn't it mostly with people from like the Hispanic community mostly now? No, they have their own mass at okay. 6.30. All right. So we have four masses on Sundays Okay. and one on Saturday night. And you know, you can go to any of them during the summer and it's packed. Uh, there's a mass every morning and it's the same, you know, maybe 25 people. Are you, get, are you, yeah, but are you bringing more people into the church? Yes, I we mean, are. We're bringing, but not huge numbers. Not I mean. huge numbers, but for the for an island this size, I think we do very well. Now, has the Pope helped has uh, the Pope in helped? bringing people back to the church? Have you noticed that? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if I can say that the Pope's helped. I think we try to educate people about what the Pope's doing. Um, yeah, you know, our newspapers here don't do that. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people only read the Inky Mirror. They don't get the New York Times or Washington Post or the Wall Street Journal. So uh, we try during Mass and, and, and try to give away things that says this is what the Pope's doing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Father, do you like him? I mean, I, I think he's terrific. I think he's terrific. Um, you know, he's a little, little more, he's not as conservative, he's, right? He's not, well, I don't know about that. He, I think he is very conservative in many ways, okay. and I think he's being pushed to be more conservative because he has so many bishops around him that are very conservative. Um, my only fear is that, you know, he will not stay till he dies. I think um, when his health starts to go, I think he will be another one that will retire. Oh, I see. Uh, which, you know, for many years that's never happened um, because popes stay till they die. And Aren't they supposed to? That's what I thought they did. Well, they used to, but... Um, Why do you say that he won't stay? Well, the last pope didn't. He well, he, uh, he, he, I don't think he liked the job at all, though. Did oh, I think he liked like the job, but I think his health was failing so much. Is he still, he's okay now, though? Um, he's still alive. Uh, he's still alive, but I'm not sure he's doing that well, um, physically. And... You know, nowadays we keep people alive so long. You yeah. know, years ago, Pope stayed, but they didn't live as long as we keep That's people true. alive. That's true. And uh, I think it's great that we make all these medical things, but our bodies do fail and we do get tired. And the Pope's job, to me, has so much uh, going for it and so, mu so many things he needs to do and so many hands in so many pots. But I think you get to a certain age, you can't keep that up. I'm going to back up here okay. so that I can talk to you a little more right in front of the church here. <clears throat> um, okay, so what 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 should we know about the church well, for the season here so that we season? get that out of the way? Yeah. Well, uh, Advent starts, which is kind of the beginning of Christmas season, uh, the, first, the last Sunday in November, and we, we go uh, for four weeks. Till Christmas and it's it's celebrating the birth of Christ sure and on the fifth during stroll we have our Christmas fair uh, we have seating for 65 because it's really cold uh, the Knights of Columbus do the grilling um, Cowboys has been so generous that they gave us 40 pounds of hot dogs oh. and 40 pounds of sausage so if you want some really great hot dogs and sausage come down um, Sales gives us soup. Uh, some of our parishioners make uh, rice with New Orleans beans. Uh, somebody else makes... I mean, people come together. People bake. Uh, a lot of the, the bread and breakfasts here actually bake and bring us things. So it's truly a community thing. That is great. You know, and uh, this summer it's running a little short on people. And some of the people from St. Paul's came down to help. So we went up there wow. for there. So, you know, that's what I love about this community. It's not, this is mine. Everybody wants to help each other. Well, that's terrific to hear, so, too. So, you know, which yeah. is a great... Well, thing. you need to take a break at some point, don't you? Uh, I'm going away this winter. What? I'm going on a 55-day cruise on the Queen Mary, which I think is great. And then we're going to spend... Where a are you going? We're going from New York, down South America, around the Horn, up to Chile, 
around the South Seas, Easter Island, Tahiti, Bali. Then we go around New Zealand. We make four stops in New Zealand. We go over to Sydney, Australia. Oh my god. Up to gosh. Brisbane. And then my sister lives in Brisbane. And no way. She has a TV show in Brisbane. You're kidding. No. Um, what is she? What's her show? Her show is how to how to cook but not cook, because she's a raw vegan. Okay. So she oh. doesn't even have a. We're not going to stay with her because she doesn't even have a stove in her house. When I say raw, wow. she eats no tea, no coffee, anything that has that has been cooked in any way, she will not have. How long has she been eating like that? Five years. Five years. And, and she went to a culinary school in Did California. she do it because she had a health issue and then decided? No, she did it because she looked at my mom, and my mom unfortunately died young because she had lots of health issues, and she, you know, was 4'11 and weighed over 300 pounds. Oh, my goodness. I uh, was in a wheelchair for almost 20 years, and my sister said, never, never, never will this happen to me. And But why did she wait five years? I mean, how old is your sister? My sister's 20 years younger than me. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so she's <laughs> so she's still young. She's still quite young. Well, I don't know where to begin. This trip, oh my gosh. Well, we've done. How can that? We've done thirty-five days going the other way from New York, over to England, to Crossing Lisbon, uh, to Rome, through it, through the Suez Canal, to. You don't Cairo. mind those long open water? I love it. Love looking out, wow. and just seeing you know in the Red Sea. Ooh, you would not believe. I have been to the Red Sea. What it's kind of, so clear. What I kind can, of glasses did you have? I, what do you mean glasses? Sunglasses. I have filters in my oh, sunglasses. Oh, okay. So when I looked down, the sea was oh. really red. Oh, I've, I've swam in it, and yeah. I mean, it is so clear. It's beautiful. It's incredible. I've never seen water like yeah. that. And we went through the Straits of Hormuz. Oh my gosh, so which, you really... Which was really, in some ways, scary because on deck, there were guards posted all around. Uh, at night we had to run dark, so we weren't allowed to open our curtains, nothing, you weren't allowed on deck. And they did 30 knots an hour for three days straight. Really? And uh, as we, it, during the day we took pictures of all the naval ships from the different countries that protect uh, from the pirates. Really? You, do, you weren't worried about that? You still no, decided we'd go anyway? No, yeah, well, I heck? mean, you want to see, the, you wanna see uh, the world. I guess you do. You know? Well, you're definitely going in style with the Queen Mary, right? We are. We you, are. You are. I mean, it's been... What a, what a trip that is. It Good is. Good for you. You know? Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. It's great to have you come for a ride with me. And please come down to our St. Mary's Fair. You can get lots of little Christmas gifts, baskets. We have silent auction. We have Alrighty. all kinds of good What's things. the date on that again? It is December 5th okay. from 9 a.m. to 2. Perfect. Okay. We'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye.